motor rail terminal at Kensington Olympia sees the start of a new concept in motorsport. By substituting rail for road, it was possible to bring two famous motor clubs together for a two-day event and makes the London Torbay contest feel like a local get-together. The obedient mounts follow their masters in petrol-saving silence as the London members settle down to a great breakfast. A meal on the move is not only time-saving, but also very restful to the ulcers. Our families are enjoying the outing too. As the keen ones talk tactics in the clubhouse atmosphere of the private train, one can't help wondering what the other team are up to. A spot of extra practice, perhaps. Over 30 cars are taking the trip. Both saloon, sport and madcap specials are on this one-man drive. No parking tickets or speeding fines are collected, despite arriving at Western Shores in record time. Lunch packs are all part of the service that comes with your ticket like breakfast this morning and tea on the journey home. As the 200 mile journey nears its end, all are fit and ready to fight. Back in the pits, instructions are given by the experts. Transporters wait outside Newton Abbott station for the unlicensed cars which have left their tiresome trailers behind. As the mobile wooden road is left, young ones take critical note of the driving style and exhaust tones. All fresh from the journey, the London Cavalcade moves off in Echelon to meet the Torbay Motor Club waiting at the foot of Odicum Hill. The front wheel drive class soon set the ball rolling, whoops and bouncing. None the worse, David De Costa tries a less damaging line with his S-modified Stillmore. The Torbay race-tired and trailered minis tear up the 750-yard slope, taking first three places with the fastest time, 39.2. The hand-built Ford Special of Doug Worgan sets off. takes the first hairpin in Grand Prix style. Notice his flying cufflinks. London chairman David Siegel Morris takes the DB Aston up the water-cooled course to take third place. The Mayor GT is next, but the sleek special never seems to hot up, like the curry that's driving it. The rain continues its damping ways, and even the scorer ends up with watercolours. The London team are rather short of hot machinery, so Maurice Bishop uses his towing car, taking a very comfortable line up Odicum, but he still beats a number of competitors by two seconds. Journalist, professional rallyman John Davenport controls the horses of the works escort, still bearing the tulip rally plates from its previous outing. He took a very fair second place, only one-sixth of a second behind the winner. Despite John Beckett's efforts in his Porsche and Touche, Rennie Boucher, the Torbay Club took on the lead. Next day saw things better. A couple of points, pardon the expression, were discussed as the machinery was lined up for a last check before the driving tests. The drivers prepare. Once on the move, the drivers have little time to think before it's all over, and only a dizzy feeling is left. At least that's what happens with my roving roadster. In the specials class, the brain hemorrhage of Morris Bishop tackles the box. Notice it's not need front and rear wheel steering. 
He finds pylons rather attractive and collects one. Even so, he had the fastest time, but came in second due to that naughty pylon. The more conventional machinery took a more normal approach and left pylons unmolested. Fewer parking meters in Torquay gave the London parkers an advantage and competition proved closer than on the previous day. The scores were noted by the keen ones. FTD man Doug Worgan shows the way round, using his fiddle brakes to the full with some expert spins and reverse turns. He takes first place in 25.2 seconds and with London picking up second and third in the class. In contrast, the shopping Cortina ambles its way round, pylon free of course. The NSU of Peter Nodes adds a more dashing touch, taking another first in the rear wheel drive class with an average of 32.2 seconds. The results show a Torbay victory on both events and the effective motor rail trophy is already won. The individual awards were equally attractive and were presented by Kenneth MacLeod of Westwood Television. And to round off a cracking weekend, Torbay's captain, Derek Swan, accepts London's challenge for next year.